Construction 6 and 7. These involve the division of a line segment into equal parts without measuring it. Construction 6 involves dividing the line segment into either two or three equal parts. To divide it into two equal parts, we can use the perpendicular bisector of a line segment, which we have covered in a previous lesson. And then Construction 7 involves dividing it into four or more parts. So we'll go ahead with the dividing it into three equal parts today. And for um, construction seven, you just use the same same idea, but you um, would cover cover more divisions. So we draw a line through our point A at an acute angle to the line AB. We then take our compass, put the point on A, and swing an arc so that the arc intersects with this line that we originally drew. We take our compass and we place the point on the intersection point between the arc and the line and we draw a new arc. And we do this the same again. If you needed more divisions, you would just repeat this process using probably a smaller compass width for this example and do however many arcs that you need to divide the line segment. So here we need to divide it into three parts, so I've got three arcs. I then take my ruler and I draw a line between this point. Let's call this our point C, from C to B. I'll label my other intersection points. Let's call them D and E. I take a set square and line it up on the point. CB. I have my slide that I can slide the set square along, ensuring that any line is parallel to this line CB. So I slide my set square up to the point D and I draw a new line through D parallel to CB. I slide it along again to the point E and I draw another line through E, also parallel to CB. These points, F and G, the intersection points between these parallel lines and the line AB. So AF, FG and GB are each equal divisions of this original line segment AB.